good day once again you are all welcome back to my channel you are welcome back to card features solution place and academy once again my name is still the main the you are watching the episode 13th of uh, this free lecture on uh, fish farming as you know i promise to give you in-depth information about catfish so that means that i'll be going more in depth to give you more information about all the aspects of catfish uh, farming training so what this simply means is that if i'm talking about maybe archery i won't just be going in through the archery process like if i'm talking about archery for you for just 30 minutes i'll be going more in depth so this is going to take a lot of time because there are a lot of informations in fish farming or generally uh, the most aspect the most key aspect of it that we guys are really missing if we are going to maybe you are going to a training or a seminar for like five hours and uh, you are just taught on how to do ashri that means they will just talk to you for maybe one hour or two hours later they will take you to uh, the practical section maybe the the fishes may have been injected and they, they will take through how to do the stripping and how to lay the egg and they will just take you through the latency and the incubating period this may not make you that uh, professional you need because there are a lot of information involved let me give you an example if you are talking about just the water alone the water management alone this can take you six months in learning archery yeah so the essence of this uh, uh, video and uh, lecture you are watching for those people that really want to key into heat yeah not anybody but those people because some of us may be bored because it's free yeah but it to me i thought it didn't fit to give bags to uh, to to people to like smile that really need it because we have been doing this in our lecture too on whatsapp as i said earlier and we have been doing it free of charge too for people and on our whatsapp group if you are in our whatsapp group you noticed the lecture is been purely information we, we, i try to go more in depth so i don't rush into my lecture so that you can really know where you are getting things wrong and what you need to get things right yeah that is how it should be so we are talking about feed formulation and feed formulation is not all about you just taking material mixing it and putting it in the machine and just giving it to your fishes there are a lot of things involved if you want to talk about the process of even the process of uh, pelletizing alone it takes a lot of information there are a lot of things you need to know we are talking about the machines which i'll be telling you this in depth about this because i'm going to tell you different kind of machines you are going to use and the way you are going to use it and i'm going to recommend the needed machines that you will need that will work perfectly for you and those that you don't need that will not work perfectly for you because there are some machines that can do what we call the floating feet for you and because you just thought you want to be a farmer and because you have the money at hand to do whatever you just go there to buy the machine that would not make your fish float i have visited a lot of farms and i've seen that most of them just abandon their machine because the machine is not really doing the required what they bought it for so all these are what i told you all these need in-depth information i'm just giving this out because of this time because things are really hard the economy is not helping the ecosystem is not helping and the 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 likes of the uh, federal parastatals the state parastatals are not really helping so i'm just doing this so that we that are into it presently or we that really want to join uh, fish farming may have some knowledge on if this is worthwhile or not because normally people normally said fish farming is a lucrative business highly lucrative business but how can you make it lucrative yourself making it lucrative yourself is following due process following the protocols that can lead you to success yeah this is very very important so that is why i have to go very slow on this uh, information for my last episode that means the episode um, 12 yeah i talked about uh, the material alternation yeah the crude protein and material alternation so i talked about that and 
from this episode 13 i'll be talking about what we what we mean by the ways way way to alternate for sheep material so that is what i'll be talking about from my episode 13 and i'll be giving you an example on why you need to alternate for a very sweet material so the first example i'll be giving like if you if you are having some materials that are expensive and you thought this material by the time you put it into the concentration this will do what we hide the cost of producing that feed and peradventure you are in a location that you can source for some materials that are equivalent in CP, that means equivalent in digestive crude protein to that that you want to buy. So it's an opportunity for you now to look into it well and use that so that you can reduce your cost of production. It's very, very important because we are just look uh, having a locally made feed yourself is what for you to get a higher concentration on digestible crude protein and making sure that you get it at a at a cheap rate not a cheaper rate at least a reduced rate yeah i can call it a reduced rate because if you are looking for a cheaper one you are just giving your fishes damn shaft i told you earlier maybe in my episode 11. so let us continue for maybe you are sourcing for the protein i told you we have two different type of source of protein which we call the animal protein and the and the plant protein yeah the animal proteins are the protein source from a uh, animal based product yeah the animal product are the source they are sourced from animal based product byproduct of animals why the plant are sourced from grains why the other ones are sourced from plant made product but basically the animal based product are the most expensive one you can get around like the fish meal fish is being sourced from fish from people sources from clupid from shrimps yeah why i'm talking about this is that i will now advise you on something for those of you who have been into uh, production of a uh, feed and uh, are having uh, there's a farm i went to in uh, in lagos here in lagos and by the time i visited the farm uh, i was paid all through for the farm visitation and consultation so by the time i got there i got there very early in the morning and when i well, the first place i visited is the feed mill so when i visited the feed mill they have low lot of materials in the feed mill yeah they have low lot of materials in the field mill. but the only place they are getting it wrong that i saw immediately i got there is that they have well over 10 tons of what we call fish meal and all the fish meal are shaft fish meal i can call it shaft feed meal they are they are they are meals they are fish meal sourced from carcass of fish carcass of fish yeah for those of us who know uh, we call it agodo in yoruba uh, they are they are carcass of fish that means fish head fish head bones and stuff it, there are a lot of it fish skin there are a lot of it made from uh, the likes of tilapia made from the likes of uh, uh eterotis, made from all sort of uh, uh, scaly uh, scaly fishes so these are what we are called fish carcass so fish carcass is different from fish meal for those of you who needs to get things right yeah it's different from fair fish meal fair fish meal is being produced from the flesh like you are using what we call the fillet of catfish yeah they are produced from the flesh of some certain species of fishes that has that desired digestible protein like catfish the percentage of the CP of catfish is not 72%. I'm just giving an example. Catfish is rich in omega-3 than some of the species of fishes you can get around, you can get in the wild. But 
there are some fishes that are highly proteinous. Fishes like the shrimps. The small, 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 small fishes you saw by the edge of the rivers. There are a lot of shrimps amongst them. They are boneless. They are bone, their bone is invisible. So these are they have all lot numbers of flesh on them. So that is where you can get the desired amount of higher crude protein you wanted. You note this information is very very important and it's very very key but if you take it very very serious because i notice most people will not take it serious because it's free but for those people who can take it serious that is where most fish farmers are getting it wrong highly wrong in fish production in feed production sorry so once you can source your own from the streams you are at least 80 percent free that is where you can get the likes of the higher crude, digestible crude protein uh, uh, fish meal. Because it's expensive. Why it's expensive is that we can't get the shims here. Nobody has that attitude, attitude to go into the white and source for them, which the likes of the white people try to do and they sell it back to us from Danish, from Denmark. They sell it from, from, from China, from Japan. They do the researches. They have what we call the uh, the the ships, the likes of the vo boat to go around and get it from the white, process it, and sell it to us. But what we have here are carcass. Most of them are carcass. And by the time you blend these carcass and take it to the lab, I bet you you may not get not you may get something like maybe 30 to 25 percent digestible crude protein from them because most of them are bones they are full of calcium fiber but because we don't test that is why I'm telling you that I think we need to source from what we call a mini uh, a mini uh, testing material testing kit we need it so that you can know the amount of digestible crude protein you are giving to your fishes so you can actually do the test and you can run enough for your fishes if it is uh, okay so all these are what we needed to give us that desire profit we need in fish farming so if you are the likes that still have those cacas in your farm please you just need this for an alternation try to get a very good fish meal maybe you can get 72 fish meal or you can get the likes of setting at least 65 good protein seed fish meal which you can test that is right because there are some Senegalese that come to the country and they are not up to 65 good protein i've seen a lot of them i've taken a lot of them for samples and i've verify most of them so you need to test them there are some of them that comes to me to market they are good for them but i ask them for the uh, for the analysis the analysis over there and i will make an analysis here to get the fact so that is how it rolls so i'll be ending the episode 13 from here so let's continue uh, so we we'll continue with what we call the episode uh, uh, 14 so watch out for episode 14